Welcome to the report, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. We're going to talk about um, what John Cleese recently said, where he said that London is no longer a British city, um, which I think is rather shocking, don't you? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report and stick around when we shall discuss how is London still an English city and is Melbourne, where I live, still an English city. We will fight them on the beaches. We will fight them on the land. This is the great words of the great English leader, Winston Churchill, who um, essentially represented the true heart and soul of the British people, um, who have for at least 500 years um, fought for their national hegemony and their national um, spirit and for the country of, um, of Britain, uh, England and the United Kingdom. Um, now, since World War II, we have seen uh, a different kind of invasion, essentially a kind of non-linear warfare, which is a kind of warfare that doesn't involve um, the traditional methods of invading a country and destroying a country. Um, it's essentially, I mean, uh, what's called the cabal has many different strands for which it has been attempting to destroy Europe. Uh, and um, multiculturalism and mass immigration has been a major um, kind of tentacle of the octopus, let's say. And um, this, uh, in the last 25 years since the fall of the um, uh, Berlin Wall, where I believe the globalist agenda, essentially when America was the only major power on the world stage, I think that's when they made the decision, okay, well, we're gonna go for it now. We're gonna really attempt to take over the whole world. Um, like, like, not even like, hidden, not, in, hidden, not in, even in a hidden way in a full out ultra way. Um, obviously they needed to formulate a, a plan to do that um, a, or an event that would be a catalyst to that. Obviously that event was September 11, um, which I don't believe was uh, committed by Muslims at all. I believe it was committed by, um, you know, well, we don't need to get into that, but you know, I imagine you could work out who I think it is. Well, the British empire has ruled the world up until World War II. I mean, this is not controversial to say it because it's completely true. They've dominated half the globe. It was always said to be the empire um, on which the sun never set from one small island on the, on the corner of Europe. The world has been ruled from one country. Um, if you've been to England, like I have many, many times, um, the, the beauty of London, um, the capital of the British empire, and, and the wealth of the country, the, the beautiful white buildings and the beautiful palaces and the palatial gardens and the incredible museums and the incredible libraries. And, like it has been the centre of, of, of world culture. Um, possibly only with, you know, anything that could compete with it would possibly be Paris and Rome, um, you know, for many, many years. Anyway, uh, recently John Cleese came out and basically said the truth, that uh, London is no longer an English city. Um, you know, the idea that, and that it's 100% true because uh, you just need to look up the recent demographic study that 45% of people who live in London is ethnically British. Um, so it is quite true. Uh, London is no longer um, a, a British city. And this is absolutely scandalous that, you know, like the British people have fought so many wars for their freedom. And yet through this, this insidious system of mass immigration and multiculturalism, the country itself or the capital is no longer British. Like, uh, it's, it's an extraordinary um, or victory for the evil ones. And um, it's unbelievable. It's hard to really think we've allowed this to happen. And, um, you know, I mean, basically the situation right now is, is well, that's it. You know, I mean, um, there was this film that came out from Hollywood. Um, Hollywood often makes films that send a kind of message. You know what I mean? Like the message is not the film itself, which is really just a propaganda weapon. Um, sometimes it's the poster only. The film itself uh, I'm about to talk about, it was not a good film, it's a stupid film. But the title itself, um, it was a message. And the title was called London Has Fallen. And the film came out around three years ago. Around the time actually at the demographic change. And I imagine the globalists were watching the demographic change. And the moment it clicked over from 51% to 49 they released the film London Has Fallen. Not because it's a good film, not because it's a stupid film about London and terrorism or something, but the message was, it was a picture of London all on fire with the giant headline, London has fallen. That was a meta message, like say in the film They Live, you know, where, where the Obey or whatever was the actual message. London has fallen. That was a celebratory announcement from the globalist um, quarter 
we've taken London. And that's quite legitimately the situation. It, it is no longer um, a, a British, it is controlled by international interests. Obviously, um, what's called um, the City of London, which is the great um, centre of financial um, um, manipulation and, and destruction um, on, the, on the planet, is located in the City of London. So they've always had a, a very strong presence uh, in London. Um, obviously, um, what is needed is a people's revolution in, in um, in the United Kingdom and for the city of London itself to be reclaimed for the British people. Um, this would be a tremendous event. Obviously, there would be a great resistance against this happening, of course, because um, we are ruled by um, incredible evil, uh, an evil people, the likes of which the planet has never seen, um, who have a tremendous amount of power that's absolutely out of this world. So we are involved in, you know, essentially this is the final fight. This is the, the moment where um, humanity chooses whether they have a future or, or whether not to have a future. So. That's it really, ladies and gentlemen. So that's part one, and uh, we'll talk in part two about the city of Melbourne. Is the city of Melbourne um, still um, an Australian city?